Hi YouTube, this is a small review on the latest release of the Elementary OS version 3.2 or 0.3.2 as you can see here which is uh, actually a, a Ubuntu based distribution that in fact started out as a, as a bunch of apps and themes on Ubuntu that later on turned out to become its own full-blown distribution. Now Elementary describes itself as a fast and open replacement for Windows or OS X and aims to solve a number of perceived deficiencies in other Linux distros such as a better shell interface, uh, reduced software dependencies by using everything written in the C language and a diminished need for the terminal so they try to make it really user friendly. So just clicking on applications here, opening it up, we can see everything here is in fact the Pantheon desktop environment as it's named pretty much designed specifically for elementary uh, it is the the first I suppose Linux distribution to use it it's and it reminds me a little bit of how Linux Mint uses cinnamon so moving on from there the window manager as well is files as you can see here so just click open that one for a moment and we'll just right click to see about files Hopefully that decides to load. And there we go. So uh, files, which is really the, the GNOME variant, but uh, there has been word of a Windows manager named Gala being used, but so far it looks like it's only using the GNOME files at the moment. Now, the Linux kernel, which you may have seen just a moment ago, is 3.19. Now, as mentioned, this is based off Ubuntu, this distribution, and it's actually based off the long-term service release of Ubuntu, which uh, happens to be 14.04, .04, so very similar to Linux Mint in a way. Also, the architectures that can be used are both 32 and 64-bit, so can, you can install it on one of your older machines if you wish. Now, regarding some of the software, they do seem to have some of their own custom-built applications. We've got uh, videos and music, and if we click on these, you'll find that they've got very, very simple interfaces, which is really what Element, uh, Elementary is all about. So it's very simple to use. There's not a lot you can really do. I'm, I've been actually finding it hard to find a lot of the, uh, the preferences icons. I mean, you can see it here, and you can make a few preference changes here, but a lot of the applications, they just, it's really bare bones in a way. Bare bones probably isn't the best way to describe it. It is fully functioned, but uh, maybe the customization is not as good as, uh, as you'd want it to be. It's just harder to access things that you might want to do with it. Uh, so, all in all, the, the typical usage of this operating system as well is purely desktop. It's not really meant for running servers, but of course you can install those as well if you wish. You'll see that the browser here is uh, Midori, and it's an interesting choice, but uh, they may most likely have chosen Midori because it is based on the, the C language or the framework there, so things load faster, things load quicker. And I might say as well, this is actually running on a virtual box and only with one CPU so it's, it's doing quite well for itself I've got to say just in terms of speed and things like that now the update method as you might guess is uh, APT just like Ubuntu and the uh, package manager is DPKG the DPKG package manager as with Ubuntu as well as you can guess so I'd say it's a, it's a pretty decent uh, distro. It aims to simplify the user experience whilst at the same time uh, giving you a little bit of power and being capable of doing all sorts of things. It's, it makes it sort of flashy, makes it look nice, but uh, sometimes it's just missing in some of the things I want. Like I wouldn't mind a tools menu up the top, but then again I like to do extra things, but they really do simplify the interface and that's really part of its appeal so I can't really uh, misjudge it based on that. So all in all, pretty cool. I'm not quite a believer. I wouldn't switch to it but uh, I'd probably put it on uh, you know a, a friend's old machine just so they can use the basics such as you know running the web browser that kind of thing. But uh, yeah that's pretty much it guys. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, yeah it's just a, a quick show of the latest release of Elementary OS codename Freer as we can see. Cheers guys. Hope you've enjoyed.